Lamar Stevens, once a spur, always a spur? I don't have a slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. What is up San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. Well, we got some news this evening, afternoon or morning, depending on where you are. The San Antonio Spurs have waived for Lamar Stevens just weeks after acquiring him from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland Cavaliers Spurs fans, are you disappointed in this move? Did you kind of see it coming? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the thumbs up, like, support the channel, and subscribe for more Spurs content. And I expect the Spurs are going to be making a lot of moves before this all said and done before the trade deadline was not until next year. That being said, let me just say this right now, Spurs fans. Don't get too attached to any of the recent acquisitions the Spurs have made. I think they're only temporary. As you can see already with Lamar Stevens. So just, just throwing it out there. Don't get too attached to anybody that's recently come to the San Antonio Spurs. Any vets north of the age, like 26, 27, up that way. Anyway, Stevens, who is 26, has spent all three seasons, of, three seasons of his NBA career with the Cleveland Cavaliers. In a total of 165 games with the Cavs, he averaged 5.3 points per game and 2.8 rebounds per game, while shooting about 47% from the field and 28% from three-point range. The Spurs have been in the news. The Spurs have been in the new... The Spurs have been in the news quite a bit this offseason as after drafting Victor Wambiamba with the first pick in the 2023 NBA draft, they've been willing to take on unwanted salaries around the league in exchange for draft compensation. A lot of the players they're taking on are in the last year of their contract, Spurs fans. And with the new CBA, we have to reach a certain threshold before the season starts. If we're below it, then there's a lot of penalties and you have to pay the difference to the NBA. There's just a whole lot of hoopla going on there that I've already talked about in another video. So I think a lot of these moves are just because of the salary cap, but also get some draft capital and maybe have some players to trade in the near future. I did also read on other websites the reason they made this move, Spurs fans, is the, we need room on a roster. Our roster is overloaded right now. There's going to be more moves happening before the season starts. Karen Payne was acquired last night, and this is why Lamar Stevens out. So Payne in, Stevens out. Owning a partially guaranteed contract for the 23-24 season, the Spurs decided to waive the former Cavaliers forward before his contract became fully guaranteed on July 18th, which is tomorrow. San Antonio will now take on a $400,000 dead cap hit for waiving Stevens, who would have been owed $1.93 million by the organization if not waived on Monday, which is also today. Spurs fans, short video today. Not a shock at all. With all due respect, I didn't see how he fits into our lineup at all. I think the Spurs' plan now is just to load up on young talent players like Sir Jabari Rice, your city Sissokos, those type of players that are young, developing, and with these guys that have played for a few years on expiring contracts, waive them or trade them maybe for some kind of future capital. I'd be not shocked if in the next few months or before the trade deadline in February, we see Doug McDermott, Devontae Graham, those type of players be traded for whatever we can get for them. So let me know in the comments down below. Surprise. Disappointed? Were you hoping to see him on the court? Lars Stevens, thank you. Thank you for being a spur. Bum, bum, bum. All seriously, good luck to you, man, wherever you may go. And that's all I got, my friends. Thank you all for tuning in. And as always, go Spurs, go. And when I feel like this, I'm immortal. When I feel like this, I'm immortal.